What is good, everybody? Welcome back to another My Damn Toys video. Today we have My Damn Hauls episode 47. <laughs> So in this episode of My Damn Hauls, guys, we have these three packages right here, as well as some figures off to the side that we're going to get into that I already opened up off camera. But uh, let's go ahead and get into those first. We do have, again, like I said, these three packages. I believe uh, one of them's fan mail. The other one is like a commission or parts or something like that. And then the other one is a trade. I... I think so. I don't even freaking know. I, I can't keep up with stuff. But anyways, guys, let's get into the figures off camera, and then we'll tear into these with a the good old, you know what I'm talking about. So our first three figures on this episode of My Damn Hauls comes from my boy Gabe Syrie. I hope I didn't butcher your last name, bro. Uh, I'm pretty sure it's not Kyrie, but you can go follow him on Instagram at Gabe Syrie as you see it there on the screen. But he hooked us up with these figures. This was part of a trade. We got the TNF Rock, like you guys saw, I think, in the last episode of My Damn Hauls. We didn't see this Rock, though. The Nation of Domination Kmart exclusive two-pack. He came with Farouk and the Intercontinental Championship. My local Kmart closed down, so I couldn't go pick up another one, but uh, he hooked us up with that, so thank you, bro. And, of course, an Elite 45 Seth Rollins. You guys are probably sick of seeing The Rock and Seth Rollins on these episodes of My Damn Hall, so I apologize. But uh, I have my plans going forward, and I promise you that it will be worth it in the end with all these figures. But huge shout-out to Gabe for these great figures, so let's go ahead and move on. So this next package, guys, isn't even a figure. It's the beanie that you see on the figure right here. As you see, Edge rocking this red beanie. And you can find this on eBay. I believe the seller's name is GPS Slot. This thing costs $3. It's free shipping, and uh, they have some really good WWE figure clothing on there that you can go get. So uh, I definitely recommend checking them out, and I think this looks good on the Edge figure. You will see him rocking this on the pick fed moving forward. I just thought it was a good addition. You know, Edge always rocked the uh, beanies and stuff to the ring with his jeans when he was, uh, you know, still wrestling in uh, 2006 and through his career. So I thought this was a good buy. It matches well with the red and black attire, as you see here. So definitely go check them out on eBay, guys. Great prices, and they have really good figure, uh, figure clothing. So this first package comes from Kyle Kelly, guys. I believe it's Action underscore figure underscore addict 112 as you see it there on the screen. But he sent us a nice package right here. I believe this is a trade as well. And um, I really don't know what's in here. I went ahead and opened it up. It was in this big old thing. I didn't know what it was, so I had to unravel it. And uh, he had an envelope stuffed inside an envelope because he couldn't fit all the figures in here. So we're just going to take them one by one out of the packaging here and see what we got. So the first one we got is, of course, another rock figure. So I apologize, ladies and gentlemen. But it is the Elite 47.5 rock which is really good for, you know, making uh, throwback rock figures. So I'm not complaining. Thank you so much, Kyle. Let's see what else we got in here. Looks like we have a zombie Sasha Banks, and I have never owned one of the zombie figures, so that's pretty cool. Maybe this can kickstart my loose zombie figure collection or something like that. Very nice right there. It says legit undead on there. Got the black attire. Her uh, kick pad is, like, eaten off right there. So that's pretty cool. She comes with a necklace and some glasses. What else we got in here? We have a headless uh, Network Spotlight Enzo Amore Basic. I believe that's the series right here. I don't really know what I can use this for, but uh, I guess we'll see. Next up, we have a headless and armless AJ Styles. So I, I really don't know what I'll be able to use these for. I guess they'll turn into crowd members or something like that. But I do appreciate this, bro. Thank you so much for the uh, loose basic parts right here. Taking it out, we have a headless, armless, marked up, bootless Triple H right here. And uh, I think we got an elite of this attire, like, uh, I can't remember. I think it's WrestleMania 26 or something like that. I could be wrong. But uh, that's what we got right here. I have plenty of these because I've used arms and heads from plenty of Triple H basics and elites. So I definitely have my fair share of those. And that is pretty much it for the package. We throw this over there. And we do have a note here. And, uh, yeah. It says, Dear Trey, thanks for the trade. Hope you enjoy the extras I threw in. Huge fan of the channel. And I will continue to support it. Sincerely, Kyle, a.k.a. Action Figure Addict 112. And he has a sick little skull logo right here. Big fan of skulls, guys. Uh, it's I don't know what it is. I have like an obsession with skulls. So thank you so much, bro. This will definitely go in the fan mail section. Thank you for this stack of figures that we got right here. 
and uh, let's move on to the next package. So our next package comes from CM 2.0 or my boy Hunter Burke. Huge fan of the channel, probably one of the number one fans, so I challenge everyone to try and top CM 2.0. He is an absolute beast, guys. He is always being nice to the channel and stuff like that. But before we get into his package, we can't do so without... So let's get into his package finally, guys. Uh, Hunter Burke hooking us up. He asked to send fan, fan mail, so that's exactly what this is. So we, we don't know what's in here, but I guess we will find out. And holy guacamole salad, Brad. An Elite 3 freaking Miz, guys. Oh my god, I've never owned this figure. And this figure's very freaking nice. Very old and retro right here, guys. One of the first Elite Series. The first Elite Series Miz. This figure's so underrated, in my opinion. If we can get a little uh, good little zoom in right here. You'll see the nice shorts on there. It says B Miz on there. Got some nice graphics. This is when he was running around with John Morrison looking like a freaking moron. This is back when I hated Miz to death, guys. Like, I thought I hated him, uh, you think I hate him now, but back then, uh, yeah! I was like, who is this stupid jackass running around with the stupid idiot hat and just, he looks awful, guy. It says, I'm awesome on his sleeve. Very unique figure. I've never owned this before. I've always wanted to build up the Mizzes, so that's pretty cool. Let's make sure we don't have anything in here. Oh, he threw in his hat right here. So we do have his hat. Let's go ahead and do this. I don't even know which way it goes on. Maybe like that. I don't think this is the hat that it came with, but it's still very sick. It looks like it's a Hornswoggle hat painted black. But that's very nice, bro. Thank you so much for this, Miz. And then uh, it says Classified Top Secret 2.0. He says Danger. Do not read on camera as it contains some ideas for stop motion. So uh, I'll definitely not read this. Thank you so much, CM, for this great package and the epic freaking Miz figure. So our last package does come from James, my boy James over here. JLo 2.0 on Instagram. Guys, definitely go give him a follow. Uh, I actually do not know exactly what he sent us, but uh, definitely go give him a follow on Instagram, guys. We're just going to open this straight up. I think I already did rip this open, but uh, I feel a mock figure in here. Okay, yeah, this, this makes sense now. Uh, you see, we have the Target exclusive Rocky Maya Via Elite in mock condition. I'll definitely be opening this up, though. I'm, I'm not a mock collector, so I'll definitely be opening this up. We're going to make a uh, custom out of this. I think we're going to do the black attire. Uh, it's just like this. has the same designs, but it's in black. So we have that figure. Very nice, bro. And we're just going to dump the rest out right here. All right, so we got some goodies in here and a note. So we have a note right here, guys. You got the nice MDT logo right there. Absolutely love that. We're going to open this. I don't know if you guys can see that, but it says, Sorry about spelling mistakes, laughing my ass off, dear Trey and face wife. Although I may not know you personally, I can call you a friend. Two years ago when I found your Instagram account, I thought you were just another figure account, but you have blossomed into one of the best figure accounts, not only on Instagram, but on YouTube as well. I am fortunate that one day you answered this annoying ass kid's DM. You are lucky to have a beautiful wife that supports you. And I hope you guys live a happy life together, filled with happy moments and triumph. Thank you so much. Sincerely, James, a.k.a. J is Awesome, a.k.a. J Lo Figs, or J 2.0. P.S. If you ever want to get rid of your collection, hit me up. And he has a nice picture of the Johnny Gargano emoji face right there. Looking freaking swag, bro. Thank you so much for the note. Thank you so much for the uh, MDT logo right here, which will go straight into the fan mail box. And thank you for these extras that we're about to get into. So the first thing we got is this Network Spotlight Triple H. And I think uh, he wanted me to torso switch uh, these two figures right here. So we have the Elite 56 AJ. We have the uh, Triple H right there. And I think he wants me to torso swap or something like that. It's pretty cool because he actually painted the gloves and the logo on the back of the elbow pad, which is some nice customization. He switched the arm with the network, or the, yeah, network spotlight AJ style. So he's done some customizing already to this thing, which is beautiful. And it looks like he threw in some extra goods right here. We're gonna open this, just dump this little ish out right here. First thing we got, we got some championships. We have another United States championship, which is beautiful. One of my favorite title belts of all time. We have an NXT championship, very hard title belt to sort of track down nowadays. So thank you so much, bro, for that. We have a t-shirt right here. And it looks like it is an Elite 51 Sami Zayn t-shirt, which is very sweet. We have a HBK 
torso body thing that is sort of beat up here. It's got the uh, legs in it as well, so I guess we can use this for some fodder. We have the Network Spotlight Triple H uh, little gown, and I have a ton of these because I bought so many of that figure, but uh, we will definitely hang on to this. We have the Network Spotlight Triple H head scan. Oh my goodness. Yeah! We have an NXT Apollo Crews t-shirt, or is it Big Cass? I can't remember. You guys let me know down. I, no, it's not. It's not Apollo. It's, uh, I think it's Big Cass. I, I can't remember. Maybe, I, yeah, I can't. And the thing that fell on the ground is this Elite 40 Tyson Kid head scan. Again, shout out to James for the epic package, guys, and let's wrap this thing up. And here we have the entire haul all lined up. Again, huge shout out to everybody that sent us packages here today on episode 47 of My Damn Hauls. Again, guys, let me know down in the comment section below on episode 50. I want to do something special for episode 50 of My Damn Hauls. You guys are the absolute best, and I love this series so much. Probably my, one of my favorite series. This, the pick fed, and just, uh, guys, you guys are so amazing. Thank you guys so much for all of the support you guys give the channel. Subscribe to the channel for more epic WWE and WWE figure-related videos. Follow me on Instagram and Twitter at MyDamnToys. Leave a like if you enjoyed the video. Comment down below your favorite pickup of this video. And I will see you guys in the next video. Thank you.